Now that did sound familiar. Hey, so a couple of days ago I came across this video from Andriy Veselenko. Video is titled One, the song that changed metal forever. He basically analyzed the song structure from intro to outro. So after I finished watching the video, I wanted to listen to the song, One by Metallica. And as I was listening to it, at the beginning of it, I noticed something. Try listening to the riff one more time. Doesn't it remind you of something? There's one specific classical piece of music that is so familiar to the intro of this song. Now the title of this video might be a little bit misleading because if you're a classical music expert, the piece I'm talking about actually belongs to the romantic era, not the classical. And I'm gonna give you one last chance to guess it. Here's a little hint. It's a piano sonata. You haven't guessed it yet? Okay, fine. Yes, you have finally guessed it. It's the third movement from the piano sonata number two in B flat minor. Is that right? Let me check my script. AKA the funeral march by Frederick Chopin. Is it Chopin or Chopin? Not sure. Anyway. Okay, I get it. They're not exactly the same, but if you listen really, really carefully, you're gonna find lots of things in common. And I'm gonna prove it. But before I do, have you guys ever heard the term Opal for channels that reach or surpass 1000 subscribers? This one's on you. Please subscribe. Now to show you the similarities between one and the funeral march, first we're gonna use FL Studio on my computer. Now the first riff on one goes like this. And this is how the piano begins on the funeral march, because it's a piano sonata, remember? Now, one is in B minor on 103 BPM. Funeral March is on B flat minor at 101 BPM. Only a semitone lower and two beats per minute slower than one. Now, what we're gonna do here is transpose one down one semitone. And we're gonna slow down the Funeral March so the two can match together. Okay, well, it's ready. Here you go. Sorry, what? No, I'm not gonna transpose it up on semitone and speed it up. It would sound funny. Remember kids, always transpose down, not up. And do whatever the fuck you want with the tempo. See what I was talking about? It's the same chord progression in the first four bars. B flat and F sharp. Yeah, I know it's B and G in one. But here, it's B flat minor, F sharp, major? God, those things mess me up. Now look, I know what you're thinking. I know the riff was inspired by Buried Alive by Venom. But you cannot deny the similarities we have here. After all, this is just a theory of mine. Take it easy. And if you think we're done here, you're wrong. Another thing I noticed in Andre's video is when he mentioned the underrated guitar riff right before the first verse. <laughs> The whole intro to one is generally sad and kind of depressive. But this riff we have here is kind of brighter, right? It's happier than all the previous ones and it's more optimistic. But then this happened. That C note right there is a transition between the happy riff and the vocals. That specific note kills the brightness of the happy riff and brings back all the darkness when the vocals begin. And the exact same thing happens between the two verses and after them. Now let's get back to the funeral march. The movement is composed of basically three parts or sections. The first one is very ominous and depressive. It's a funeral. You're grieving and it's a sad day. The second is more positive. The dead is going to heaven. And you remember in all the good old times you had with them. But then section three hits you back to reality. With the exact same depressive vibe you heard on the first one. 
That is how much these two masterpieces have in common. And that's all I got. Now maybe only the intro to one was inspired by Chopin's march. Maybe it was just my ear that caught some little similarities. But then you gotta remember, Cliff Burton was a huge fan of classical music. And he put that influence into a lot of Metallica songs. And even if he died in 86 and Justice was released in 87, his influence on the band has never really vanished. They learned a lot from him. And they wouldn't have been where they are now without him. Thanks for watching, I hope you had fun. Do you agree with my theory or not? Either way, you can tell me down in the comment section. And big thank you to Andrei Vasilenko for inspiring this video. And also to this guy for this great analysis. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your support is much appreciated. Take care and stay metal. I'll see you soon.